Hello peoples, today I will be teaching you how to stick stuff onto other stuff. Yeah, you know, like stickers and decals and specifically there was a question on C4D Cafe how to stick like one of those warning yellow and red things like as you can see here onto a pipe. So that's what we're going to be doing. So let's open cinema. Now here I have this pipe. And this is the pipe that we're going to be sticking stuff on. I have these images here. Basically, it's a logo. Well, my logo with a alpha map, which I will show you what you know how to just stick on the first just flat stickers, and then I'll show you how to stick on wrapping ones. And yeah, and we're going to be doing this without any UV mapping. This is just you know projection based because UV mapping is a whole different topic. And if you know how to UV map, you know how to stick stuff onto surfaces. And this tutorial would make no sense to you. I mean, it would make sense, but not be very useful. So, let's start off. We got our pipe here. As you can see, nothing complex, just a sweep nerbs, some extrusions. Okay, let's make a new material by double clicking here. Go to color and get our image here, which we're going to be using, and drag and drop it onto this long bar. And click no. It doesn't really matter, but yeah, no. So, now, if we drag this thing on to the pipe, just like this, or we can drag it on here. It looks pretty damn ugly and does not look like a sticker at all. So what we're going to be doing first is we're going to be switching this to flat. Now as you can see we can now kind of see what the logo says to some extent, but still not quite correct. We're going to switch to this texture axis tool here. We're going to click on the pipe and make sure that the material tag is also clipped here. And now we can grab this with the normal handles and we can move it and we can scale it and we can rotate it. See? Pretty tifty. Now, so let's say I want my sticker here. It's clearly too tall, so let's scale it down. And I want this thing to be located like here. Maybe make the whole thing a bit smaller so you can read it. But I don't want all this stuff up here. So what we have to do is go to the tag and we have to untick tile. And now we have it stuck here. Um, now, the f obviously, if we unclick it, it looks invisible. That's because we have no material in the other place. If you render it, it will actually appear there. So let's just stick a, another material. Let's just make it, I don't know. Ah, who cares? Just leave it. Make it like toxic green. Stick it on the pipe. Now, as you see, uh, if we render, it is gone. That's because Cinema calculates tags from left to right, like reading-wise. So we want the white one to be on top of the green one. So now it appears, and we press render, and it's there. Wonderful. Now obviously this kind of looks odd with this weird black thing, and it's not really a sticker, it, and it's not see-through. So let's go here, double-click on this thing, or we can click on the material here. Basic and tick alpha map. Now click alpha, and now go to our window again, here with the things, and drag this in here. And no, we don't want to copy it. And we don't want the image alpha, we just want the image. And we want to invert it. And now, we have sticker on pipe. Pretty cool, right? As you can just notice when I switched, when I rotated there, it also kind of appeared on the back. But I'll show you how to deal with that in a second. Now, just one more thing. When you're sticking stickers on, right now it looks kind of flat. And can we just make this green a bit low? little less toxic, it's a bit too distracting. Right now it looks very flat, like, um, let's get this editor and change this preview size to 1024 so it's a bit cleaner. I don't think that helped. Problem. Firstly it stretches and secondly it's a bit flat. Let's fix the flat thing first. Let's go here to basic again and add bump. And in here we click this little arrow, we go bitmaps, and this will be a list of all the already used textures in your, fi in your scene file. So we select this here, sticker A, PNG. As you can see, um, now we have this indent which is unfortunately in the wrong direction. I mean, it looks like it's stamped into the post. We exaggerate it. You'll see, see. So uh, we can just put in the negative and then it'll be more of a popped out effect. Um, or we could go here and we can invert this by going 1 and 0, and then it's the inverted image. Um, same effect, really, just different ways of achieving it. So you now it kind of has this little outline. Depending on your OpenGL settings, you won't be able to see this unless you render. And what kind of video card you have, but here I have uh, enhanced OpenGL enabled, so you know I can see it. 
But yeah, it's, you know, it'll look better obviously when you add lighting, but the point is using the alpha map as a little bump map, it just adds this little kind of indentation to your stickers or whatever you're sticking on to make it look a bit more realistic. Now, uh, once we've got this stuck on, we have the problem that when we rotate around, firstly, these bits stretch. So if we, if we, for example, want to stick it to be a bit bigger and we scale it up, it stretches rather unpleasantly and becomes unreadable. So in a situation like this where it's a pipe, where it's not a flat surface, actually when it's a flat surface, it's okay. But when it's a pipe, when it's something, you know, curved, you kind of want some other method. So Cinema 4D has this other thing called projection cylinder, cylindrical. And see, now look what we get. See, now it actually wraps around. Which, once again, is a bit distorted, but that's okay. We can reduce this, we can reduce the length of the U. See? And now it's not as distorted. Let's change it to like 50%. And now you can see it doesn't stretch out on the edges. We can also offset it if we want. See, we can rotate it around and, you know, we can put it wherever we want. Which, once again, convenient. And, you know, if you want it to match the curves of the pipe fit better, you probably want to rotate this so it's, you know, yeah, like that. <laughs> because then it matches the topology and kind of the curvature of the pipe and now you can rotate it and it kind of moves and sticks. But now let's say we want this on both sides like we had it before. Well, easy, let's increase, let's put tiling back on. And then boom, you have tiling all over the pipe. It's again, not cool. So what we do is we go repetitions one and one. And now it's only in one place. But now, if we wanted to go around, we can go... Doink, oops, that's going down. But that's okay, still sometimes you might want to go down. But no, I want it to go around, so we go increase repetition here. And now we have two readable icons that are both facing the same direction. And, you know, they're stuck onto it. And we can, you know, put this in a hypernerve, and it's smooth, and there you go, my Ace 5 Studio sticker on a pipe. It kind of looks like Super Mario, doesn't it? Anyway, uh, back to the question of the actual tutorial, you know, you want to stick on one of those, uh, you know, careful stickers on, well, same thing, you get this stripe and uh, let's just, also, here's a cool tip, if we make a new material and we stick this texture into it, no, and we drag it on, we have to do all that setting up again, we have to, you know, we have to change the different mapping options and stuff, but if you get this material, and you drag it on top of this icon that we already have, it'll just be replaced in exactly where that icon was. So it'll still have all the same settings, it'll just have a different material in this field here. The same effect as dragging this into there, see? And it replaces it. So this is very handy, you can, for example, if you want, you can then control click and drag this and make two of them. And then in this one, we can stick our logo back in. And now we have the sticker on the pipe. Yeah, it doesn't tile, that's because in Photoshop I didn't make a tiling texture. You know, if you make a tiling texture, it'll wrap correctly all the way around. And now with this one, obviously, you still have all the same settings. You can, you know, you can scale its length, you can increase the number of tiles. Although here, in this case, a tile of zero would be fine because it'll just keep on wrapping around regardless of what... Zero means infinite, by the way. So, you know, you can make it really fine or really big, you know. And same thing with this part, you know. You can narrow it down, you can move it down. And there you go, you have a pipe with a sticker on it and a little tape thing. And yeah, that's pretty much the whole tutorial. I think I covered replacing textures. Yeah, so enjoy, it's a nice eight minute. Oh, that's right, forgot one important thing. Uh, how to apply these materials to certain sections. If you want this material to only, like let's say we have a, let's uh, say we want this Let's go select these objects, or you know, maybe holding a shift key at these polygons. And we want this stripe material on it. What we do, all we have to do is just drag and drop onto them. And automatically you have this polygon selection, which can go deselect polygon, or you can select polygons. And you will have this material apply to that polygon selection. See, this is the title of the polygon selection. You can call it like T1, for example. Disappears for a second. You go back here and you go T1. And there you go. And now you have this material applied here, and once again, you have all the same settings. You can change the mapping to flat, and you go to your texture axis tool. Don't forget, if you don't see the thing showing up, it means your geometry isn't selected. There you go. And now you can again move it around and stuff, but it'll be restricted to showing only in those polygons. So yeah, I think that's a pretty comprehensive introduction to how to stick stuff on and use projections and stuff.
So it's 10 minutes now. Yeah, so enjoy.